In this video, we're going to do a quick review of the application that we just finished up. I think you'll agree with me that the React side of this app came together really, really quickly. Once you put together all the logic for your contract, honestly, the React part isn't always so bad. Most of the time, we're just accessing different functions on the contract, pulling off some data, and maybe modifying some data in one or two places. So let's do a quick review of how this component works. First off, we have only one component inside of our application. It initializes five different properties of state, manager, players, balance, value, and message. Some of these are properties that are utilized by the contract itself, or at least coming from the contract. Others are being produced by the component itself, as is the case with value and message. As soon as our component renders for the first time, the component did mount lifecycle method gets called automatically. Inside of there, we pull off a couple of different factors or properties off the contract, and then set them on our component state. We then later utilize these different properties inside the render method. Again, this is a very reproducible pattern right here, and I think on your own, you're gonna have an easy time pulling data off a contract and displaying it inside of a component. Things got a little bit more complicated when we look at some of our different event handlers, such as the onSubmit handler and the onClick handler. Each of these retrieved a list of active accounts that are being provided by MetaMask they set a waiting message and then called a function on the contract. Again, this is a lot of code that we wrote already inside of our test file when we were initially developing our contract. That was the case with onClick right here as well. And the only other thing that we really did inside this component was the render method. The render method read some different properties off of state and displayed them on the screen. I think the only other thing of note inside of here is that we made use of the from way function, which is used to take a way value and convert it into some other denomination, in this case, ether. That was pretty much it. So I don't think there was a whole bunch else with the React side of this project. Now, of course, with this project, we took a lot of corner cutting, like we did a lot of shortcuts. For example, we are displaying the ready to pick a winner button, even if the person viewing this component is not the owner of the application. We're also not doing any air handling around clicking the button. We're not doing any validation of inputs, say on the amount of ether that we are entering. So for example, if I enter in some text like so, and then click enter, yeah, of course we get a big nasty error message awfully quickly here. So there's still a little bit of work that can be done and certainly still a lot of polish that we need to learn as far as taking a contract goes and putting it into a React project. But that's going to be what our next project is for. Our next project is gonna be all about building a production style application that we would feel very comfortable and very confident deploying in the public and in the wild. So let's pause here and continue in the next video where we're gonna start working on our next contract.